that masterpiece. No limit, baby. Don't forget to like, comment. It is greatly appreciated when you interact. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that post notification bell so you don't miss anything your girl has going on on Love TV. Um, we have just wrapped up season one, 30 episodes. And um, I decided that it was very keen for me to like incorporate some mental health days um i've been posting consistently every wednesday for a hot second now um initially weekly uploads was like a challenge for me and i just wanted to see if i was able to do it and then i was gonna do it but then i started and i was like stop the play <laughs> Yes, um, however, after my mental health break, um, which will consist of two to three weeks possibly, um, my first, very, very, very first episode will be a Q&A. Um, it's really just going to be getting to know me better, um, kind of like a life update, where I'm at now, what's going on now, X, Y, Z. Um, so if you do want to see that Q&A, make sure you keep watching. Okay. We're just going to do this off my back because <laughs> I don't feel like getting up because I'm already in perfect position. So while we are getting to these notes. Yeah. Okay, so the first question on the list is, how is your health going? And I love to the person who even cares because I love you, love your life. But my health is going well. Um, mental health was getting a little shaky because I wasn't like, I had a lot of journaling. But everything y'all seen on my mental health series, yeah. Ever physically, I'm just currently waiting on something. And once I make it out of that, I should be fine for a hot second. Um, sorry, Tess. Um, the next question is, how did you start your YouTube channel? So, I really do get this question a lot, y'all. And sometimes I don't know how to answer it because I'm not really sure which angle you're asking me from. So, I'm just going to like ballpark it how i started was there's another question similar to this well it kind of goes into detail is what did you use like to start youtube y'all my phone six seven eight tripping in. Hmm. yeah i use my phone i didn't have a camera i just got a camera i would say like january of this year i did not have a camera phone straight phone action and typically like that's what's always with me like i forget to bring that camera yeah. you all you need is your phone and that's it really you don't even need a ring light you can like depends on how hard of a worker you are if you are a perfectionist and you want your stuff to be and look a certain way camera no you still need the camera phone ring light um and really just some the computer to edit on. But other than that, like, you don't need anything else. Pick the camera up, start it, start it, and do what you need to do. If you, if, if, if it's just something that you just wanted to try, let's just say, you're just like, I'm curious, like, I don't know if this is something I'm trying to be doing for no weekly, you know, like, or even monthly, try it. It is going to hurt you nunzo 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 not to try it like just try it honestly i know what well, i've known that i wanted to do this for such a long time so i kind of like had what's the word 
I kind of had an idea of where, like, which direction I wanted to go. I just literally was not aware at all whatsoever <laughs> that I knew how to edit. I, well, I didn't really just know how to edit. It was a lot of like, I just kind of mess with stuff and I try and see what you do and make it make sense. And that's literally, that's how I was able to figure out like editing. But for the sole purpose of the question, phone, ring light if you want to be fancy and a computer to edit on. Other than that, if you don't even have like a computer, you don't need it. Cause your phone is a computer baby. Get into that iPhone. We don't pay all this money for those iPhones for nothing, get into it. And if you also don't want to spend money on like a ring light, use natural light. I'm sure you have a window somewhere in your house or somewhere you can go where the light is shining directly on you. You're just gonna have to like focus on time management because the sun is not always out. But if you're determined, like, it's very possible. Let's move on to the next question. Cause I will ramble. Rambo. Oh, all right, let me chill out, it's early. Okay, so the next question is, what do you use to edit on? Do y'all wanna just make this like a, like how I started my YouTube journey type? Cause I got, a, I got, a, I got more questions about that than anything. Like, I think I'm pretty like open with like what I'm doing. Well, not specifically what I'm doing, no, for a reason. Um, but like I'm pretty open, so all the things that I feel like y'all are asking is it's pretty much there. Like the poop is in the pudding. If you follow all of my social media, you'll see my TikTok, my Instagram, my Facebook. No, don't follow me on Facebook. Don't do it. Um, but yeah, so that's what we can do. I'll just talk about how I started my YouTube journey. So um, yeah, remember that clip from that um, episode where I showed y'all that 11 years ago I had started a YouTube channel. I just didn't stay consistent with it because one, I felt like I was so weird to just be sitting in front of a, a pink camera, hot pink at that, y'all. I oh, miss that camera so much. Pause because why did my mom go through like this old closet we had in our house of like storage, and y'all, she found the camera, a hot pink camera, talking to like me. Talking to myself, really. I would just talk to the camera. I would come home and talk about the books that I would read, the clothes that I had, like what was going on, how my day was. Like just talk like y'all were like my And if y'all think I'm lying, please stay tuned for the next episode because I will be showing y'all everything. My nostalgia is at an all time high. And it's funny cause the, it's like implied. We are friends now. Actually, we are family now y'all. Like Love TV is like, we family, we a community, baby. we're a building. Like, we're a black building community. I'm not gonna wear that phone. Could. <laughs> but, <laughs> we are a family, know that. And I love and appreciate every single one of y'all. But let me stop, because y'all see me deter, right? Yeah. All right, so um, that 11 years ago, I was also like, I'm tall. I'm fine. And I get it from my mom. Um, actually my daddy too, cause that's what I hate him. Was in like a lot of sports. And so I could never like focus on YouTube. Like I wish I would have pushed for it more. Like it was something that I just enjoyed doing to myself. I wasn't even comfortable with telling people like my YouTube YouTube name and like getting them to go subscribe to me and that. None of that was the plan y'all. Like I just wanted to do it because I enjoyed it. It was almost like a diary for me. So Fast forward to when I actually did start. Oh, because I was in sports so much, that's pretty much why I didn't stick with it. I was doing all kind of stuff. I moved around a lot. I had like a million jobs. I was on the go. <laughs> so I couldn't just focus on it. And then I went to cosmetology school for esthetology. Yes, I am an esthetician, fun fact. Um, once I went to um, cosmetology school, that's when it started becoming like, it started coming back to me and I'm like, dang, like, I still want to start my YouTube channel. Like, I've been talking about this for so long, X, Y, Z, blah, 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 blah. You know you're from the start when you say that. But yeah, like I had all that going on or whatever. And so that's when it became back, like it came back to my mind. And so I'm like thinking and I'm like, when, when can I do it? Like, and I'm mad because now that I've started, I wish, one, that I would have like vlogged my college days because it was like, things of time. Y'all would have loved, <gasps> I could be famous right now. But it's okay, cause God got something for me, boo. Okay. Chosen, okay? Chosen, okay? Yeah. I would like record stuff and record like clips and stuff on Snapchat. So I became like more 
YouTube on short form content. No, not even short form content. On like another social media platform. Because I wouldn't consider Snapchat to be short form content. Short form content is shorts, reels, that type of thing. And TikTok. After my accident happened and I had to sit out of work for a year, I was going insane. Like going from a person who works pretty much 90% of my time. Like I had two to three jobs at a time. Like I was always working, always doing something, always going somewhere, always having something going on. And like to just be in the house and I can't move around and I'm in pain. Like it was just too much going on. I was going crazy. <laughs> so something that I made it a point to do was I wanted to fall back into things that I love doing because I realized after like the accident and I had to be home, I didn't know what to do with myself. Like, I didn't know what to do. Like, I'm like, what did I used to do for fun? Like when I would be in the house, like what's going on? So I fell back into my roots and I was trying to figure out the things that I loved and enjoyed doing again. And the first thing I came across was YouTube because I'm like, well, now would be the time for me to challenge myself, try out these edits, see what I can and can't do before like going major with it and letting everybody know my name in terms of subscribing. I gave it a try and I don't even know what I did with that. <laughs> like none of the film nor the video itself. I don't know what I did with it. Maybe that's something I should go look into. Once I showed myself I could do it, I was like, well, let's kind of make it easier on myself, right? Try to edit to where I have not a lot of editing to do once it's time for me to edit the video. Does that make sense? Kind of. Well, that's what I did. And so for my 25th birthday, my 25th birthday, we went to the Rod Wave and Kevin Gates concert. Um, did I say Kevin Gates? I'm so sorry, Moneybag. When we went to the Rod Wave and Moneybag concert, I vlogged that and I was still very much learning. You can tell like from the difference. If you watched that video, I think it's like a couple of minutes, is it not? I don't know if that's that man name. Yes, Roger! I don't even know where to... Let's move on. We're not doing this today. I love y'all with all my heart. And then some, ever and always, it's always us, for well, never done, period. All right, back to my cute cake. Big we then we that food up. So that's um, the end of episode one. To get back to the question at hand, your phone. Because at that moment, all I had was my phone. Edited the video, uploaded it. It was a done deal. A month later, I think it is, I uploaded episode two and that's because I was still kind of in my head about it. But y'all, when I tell y'all, like I'm so thankful and grateful for where I am. Like, no, I'm not monetized. No, I'm not getting paid for this. I just really love doing it. Like. <laughs> I don't know, I just enjoy it. Like something in me feels like this is for me, like something about, I'm supposed to be doing something with this. And the closer I get to God, the better I get with this. So I really don't need to know nothing else. Like that's all That's all I need to know. I'm trying to think about anything else. Uh, mm, editing um, things, you can use um, CapCut, Adobe Premiere, uh, iMovie, uh, I'm gonna put a list on the screen of a few editing systems you can use. Practice it, get comfortable with it. Um, learn the system. This will help so much, learn the system. Now it will be a little bit of a struggle whenever you decide to try like move on to a different system because you will. Um, I say that because even once you get comfortable, you're gonna wanna add and do more things to your video and look for more individuality. And you find that in different editing systems because they have different things that other ones don't, you know? What else y'all? Um, subscriber count to get monetized is a thousand. Now it's 500, but it's levels to it. Um, if y'all want a more in-depth video on that, let me know as well. What else, what else, what else? Um, my most challenging thing, my most challenging thing with YouTube um, 
storage. Storage would be a, a big issue. So let me just put y'all on some game. I'm not sure if I ever really watched the video or heard anybody talk about it from before. So I'm gonna just say this. I've heard people touch base, but I'm gonna just tell y'all the real. Get a hard drive. <laughs> hard drives are expensive. They are, they are, they are. If you are considering doing vlogs, daily, weekly, monthly, anything, get a hard drive for the sake of your phone, your content, and your mental health. <laughs> Cause it will drive you insane. Think about it like this. If you, you know how there's this new thing going around when it concerns uh, social media where they're talking about like 4K, recording in 4K, um, all those different things, the better the quality, the more storage it takes. Oh. So if you are recording every one of your videos at the highest quality, oh. pay attention guys, because I'm also giving extra game. Record in 4K. Your phone. You will run out of space. Even if you do it and put and transfer all the devices to like your computer, you're still gonna run out of space because you're doing it consistently. So at some point you're gonna have to let go of it. And if you're a hoarder like me, get a freaking hard drive. <laughs> Just get one. Don't act in yet. Get one. Get one. Another tip I would have, find a niche. You y'all I'm still struggling. It's about to be two full years and I'm still struggling because I it's hard to pick one thing to just go for it. and I like to be different so I'll I don't even like to stick with the same stuff for ever. I don't. But definitely look into that. Please. A niche. Um, if you want me to go more in depth on what a niche is and how does it benefit you and what d does it even relate to when it concerns YouTube, let me know. But we're not going to have this video 10 years long. So let me go to the next question. Where do you see your channel going? Um, I'm going up. That's the only way I can go. We're not going backwards or down. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Not with God on my side. So that was just so funny. But to answer your question actually. I wanna become an influencer. I wanna have some type of influence so that I can do things that I really do enjoy capturing the best moments and making it into like this movie. And like, I don't know, like, this kind of relates to another question. The question was, what advice do you have for anyone starting a YouTube channel? Um, I would please be consistent. I know y'all so tired of hearing it. I'm tired of hearing it. I'm tired, but it's true. Like, as y'all can clearly see, look at the progress on my channel. I started out, y'all, like I was hype about 10 subscribers. I have 144 now. I'm hoping to have more by the time y'all see this video. Like, I, I'm not stopping. So my best advice would be to stay consistent. Be delusional if you have to be. And I know it sounds funny, but hear me out. This world is very, judgy they are mean they have opinions on everything social media gives them the comfortability to feel like they can just comment on everything in your life just because you put it out there and i mean it would be honestly weird if you felt like people couldn't talk or feel no ways about your life and you put it out there so that's not the issue the issue is that people are rude so hear me out when I say be Delulu, what I'm referring to is if you have to pick up that camera and talk to yourself and be and live in this Delulu land of everything that you love and enjoy doing and capturing the best moments and people live outside of that land, like outside of that bubble in your mind and you, you start to realize like they really don't think like me or they really don't feel like me, stay yourself do what you have to do to remain consistent and get to your goal set a goal so that's another one set a goal and don't stop until you get it it does not matter if the reward is not what you wanted it to be what you thought it was going to be i'm telling you a reward is a reward so you're still you're always going to be doing better than you was before like you know just think about it be your own biggest supporter do not feel any ways about people not supporting you, y'all. Sometimes I still get in my feelings to this day because I feel like I just don't understand why people wouldn't support you. Pause. You also have to remember that your form of support and other people's form of support may be totally different. So keep that in mind. But I learned this 
when I started my business, honestly. <laughs> like when I started my, before YouTube and I was selling lashes and I was like indulging in my esthetician schooling, I first, that's when I tracked into your page. So you just using a trend to push that through. Make it your own. That's what's going to make people love you. That's what's going to build your community, get more followers, get more subscribers, get more supporters because they love you. It's something that you do that they don't get from another person. And it don't matter if y'all do the same thing every week. If you do it your own way, you'll never fail. Like, well, I take that back. It's not that you won't never fail. You can never go wrong with being yourself. If you don't be you, who gonna do it? <laughs> so, yeah, like I just, I feel like we're getting more comfortable. I'm about to do a lot more of these sit downs, y'all. Like, this is me changing the... <laughs> wave of my channel um for season two i'm trying to give y'all so wait because that was a question what are your plans for season two of love i love tv um so we're gonna be very broad because not everything is for the internet one thing i'm focusing on is my growth my grownness like being you know becoming more of a woman um, why did I have to do this? I don't know. <laughs> Becoming more of a woman, so y'all will see me do a lot. Well, some different things. Um, I'm gonna be doing more sit downs. We're gonna have wind downs. Of course, get ready with me. That'll never go away. Y'all coming with me on my rendezvous will never. So, that could be a segment. Are you rendezvous ready? Cause this is the time, honey. Yeah, definitely gonna write that down. Y'all are always gonna come with me on my rendezvous because I enjoy catching the best moments, especially when I'm with special people. Everything, like, I love sitting down with my family and watching these videos, y'all. Like, they love it. It makes me love it even more. Traveling, of course. Y'all are gonna come. This journey to Christ will never stop. It'll never be over because I really want y'all to understand this. I'm like, I'm learning. I'm 26 years old and I'm learning. I personally feel like I have an amazing relationship with God. It's all I can see. So y'all get it, y'all get me. That's all the questions for today, y'all. Cause I'm just terrible at like actually just going down a list and like, I jump from copy. Actually, I'm gonna show y'all this picture. Cause my sister tagged me on something on Facebook and I felt the love please. But then I, <laughs> then I realized I do that for real. This is the picture. You ain't had to play like this after me. You didn't. But it's fine. I know I'm that person. Um, I'll get better with my sit down and everything of that nature. But we are about to have a journey going on, y'all. Some things are about to start. Of course, y'all are coming with me. That's no question. So yeah, another goal that I wanted to implicate, if I told y'all about this, but if possible, if the Lord sees fit, if God says the same, is to quit a nine to five. Yeah. Y'all gonna know when I reach that goal because y'all are always gonna be with me on this journey and I'm gonna keep y'all updated. If I don't ever reach the goal, y'all are gonna know. If I don't ever reach the goal, it won't make no difference because I'm gonna do this anyway. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. So, um, if you guys enjoyed this sit down, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. It is greatly appreciated when you interact. I love that. Um, it also helps my channel. And if you love me and support me, please, 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 from the bottom of your heart. There we go. Please support your girl, man or woman. I don't care. Please support your girl. <laughs> like, it is greatly appreciated when you interact. So if you're curious about something, ask me. Um, don't be embarrassed to ask any questions because it's no stupid questions. Don't be embarrassed to ask anything because we don't do all of that over here on this channel. You, Yeah. Yeah. I will remove you and your comment. So I'm hungry. So I'm about to go fix me some grub. It is currently 10.56 a.m. I need to clean this house. So I will tune back in with you guys later. Thank you so much for tuning in to Love TV. I appreciate y'all, I love y'all, and I'll see y'all next time.
No limit, baby.